inclusive clips exploring the PR, comms and media monitoring questions of today. My name is Sarah Waite. I am the director of Forward Planning Services at Onclusive. What we do is compile a massive database of future events over, I think, 350,000 future events now, looking out over a rolling 12 months ahead. So the idea is that the AP Planner, um, as one former member of the Associated Press described it, is the daybooks on steroids. So the daybooks are a feed that go out and they have normally about three days ahead content. But AP Planner is like the rest of our planners and actually has a, has a rolling 12 months ahead worth of data on the service. So we first built AP Planner in 2008 um, following my um, very rude banging on doors. We built it in collaboration with Associated Press I think the commentary they made was, I think if we don't take a meeting from you, you'll just camp outside our front door until we give up, <laughs> to which I said, I'm glad you understand me. We've expanded our collection of data. We now collect state level data as well as national level data. And um, we help uh, basically add content to the state day books. And from 2018, we have also been building out our election content, so we now track the elections every two years that take place in America, so we can track at federal level, state level. Um, we don't go as far as district, but what we're trying to do is also track all the themes and the issues, which of course are highly topical, so people can understand what's going on, when people are going to be where, and it allows engagement in the whole process. The American marketplace is, is amazing and you know we, we would be silly if we don't actually remember that communications really originates in America. But most of them have never have never seen a forward planning service that goes out as far ahead as we do. We track pretty much everything. We have 150 categories of data on each of our planners and we are trying to track across industry, legislation, news, entertainment, lifestyle, consumer, the, the entire gamut, which makes for a very exciting and constantly moving um, product. My favourite feature, which is on all of the planners, is a category called Offbeat. It is the wildly silly, irreverent items that are coming up. And they're incredibly popular, especially with our newsrooms. I've also seen it used very well within marketing teams, because sometimes, um, and I, I learned this from a consultancy years ago, they took our weird, silly events that are happening from Offbeat and they would pick out five for the month ahead. And they had a particularly worthy publication that they put out by email every month, which wasn't getting much engagement from the employees. So what they decided to do was they took five fun facts and they put them at the bottom of the email. So they then publicised that these five fun facts were there, but it meant that the employees had to A, open the email, they then had to scroll down. And as they were scrolling down, they would then see stuff that actually they wanted to engage with. So they would engage with it and then keep moving down until they got down to the five fun facts. And they would always choose really silly stuff. So our silly little offbeat section provided them with an opportunity to get engagement with their employees that they might not have done. So I think that's one of my favourite little fun facts about forward planning. That. That's brilliant. Such, I almost feel like I want to steal that idea. <laughs> You're very welcome to. It will not be unique. I have shared it yes. with many. <laughs>